Welcome back to the Fell Engine Project, where I'm building a 3.5 inch gauge live steam locomotive to my own drawings. On this episode, I machine the traction horn blocks in situ. Back in episode 16, I made the traction horn blocks and ended that episode waiting a longer email to do this procedure. Now that's finally arrived, we can get underway. I've located the frame upside down on the mill table and located a couple of hold down clamps. At this point, I square the frame using a dial test indicator to check the frame for squareness to the table. This is repeated several times, making small adjustments until the frame is square with the table. I'm using a 10mm solid carbide end mill to make the cuts. Solid carbide end mills are more rigid than high speed steel, so with the long reach required for this procedure, deflection will be minimised. I start work making very light cuts at about 0.1 of a millimetre or even less. This minimises vibration of the frame and deflection of the end mill, and these are important to getting a smooth parallel surface. As I complete machining a set of horn blocks, I move to the next. I use the digital readout to ensure the horn blocks are machined accurately to size. As you can see, the early passes reveal any variation in the face, with the shiny part being the area cut and the dull part being the low spot. With the machining of the horn blocks complete, it's time to break down the setup and relocate the frame back to a stand. One thing we haven't covered yet is the end mill can only cut so much of the horn blocks before running into the frame. So once it's back on the stand I'll need to hand file the last piece of the horn blocks. During the breakdown you can get a good view of the clamping setup with step blocks located on top of 1, 2, 3 blocks and parallels located directly under the frame where the clamps are pulling down. This was to ensure the frame wasn't distorted. Locating the frame back on the stand is a relatively simple procedure, with just a couple of screws in one end to hold it in place.
filing is undertaken carefully, with the safe edge riding on the frame. The material is removed slowly until the protrusion is flush with the face of the horn block. And that concludes this episode. On the next episode, I'll be making the axle boxes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video. Catch you next time.